All right. Hey, hey, welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining us this week on Maxi's Market Review. I'm Max, and I'm joined with Sid, as usual. Uh, this week, let's dive straight in. Uh, we're looking at the Bitcoin and the Ethereum charts. Last week, we were saying that the markets were starting to signal early signs of a top and a pullback. And it's been a week now, and you can see we have gotten uh, early stages of a pullback and of a sell-off. So... Uh, we're not caught off guard by this and we're actually kind of excited to see our predictions playing out the way we are expecting them to. So good, good week of short selling behind us. Uh, and now looking at this charts, it does look like, you know, the market's still signaling kind of short term bearishness. And it looks like we're going to be expecting it to continue to just pull, uh, uh, pull back all the way down to our indicators strength band, which you can see marked on this chart there as the green line that is going to be marking out where the support levels exist. That's a that's an, a custom indicator there from a, from Maxi. So all of our members have access to that. You can of course sign up and uh, try it out for free as well. But yeah, looking at the charts here, it looks like Bitcoin and ETH kind of you know have started to play out the way we expected them. Starting to do a little bit of a sell off. Oh yeah, and here's let's see. Here's, let's see. I was trying to find the chart that we shared. Uh, nice. Like the double. Yeah, because we were talking about it, like kind of double topping, forming those golden arches, McDonald's style. Yeah, um, exactly. I'm trying yeah. to find this. Oh, yeah. Here it is. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Lower so high. like uh, here's the chart which we had shared that, like, you know, basically it started making a lower high on the weekly mm -hmm. time frame. And that that is pretty much uh, indication of early, uh, early bearish early effect. indication of uh, sort of like a trend change to bear because you know you start making lower highs and lower lows then like uh, as opposed to higher highs and higher lows then you're like topping out and this is what we shared so the prices and these were the prices like bitcoin was at 66.8 thousand dollars and uh, ethereum was at 3.5k yeah uh, let's see where we are at. at right now, 34. Ethereum has dropped to three point four thousand dollars. So three point four k, and uh, Bitcoin has dropped to sixty three uh, yeah. thousand dollars. So yep, couple. from sixty six, from sixty sixty six point eight. Mm -hmm. 63. Needless so to say, see. I've uh, moved my stop losses into profit for my short sales. Yeah, very so. good. Very good trading. Uh, nice to see the trends playing out that way. Um, yeah. But yeah, like you, so, like you have it marked there. Also, we were expecting it to fall all the way to the strength band uh, even last week. And so now yeah. we're basically halfway through the move. Yeah, we are, very we are halfway through the move. And the weekly just closed right now. It's still looking bearish because like, if you see like this is support for Bitcoin, 64.2 and it's like closed below support ethereum too like the support was 33 4, 5, 4, and it's close below so so like we were tracking here i think the next probably the next stop is close to it i mean i'm, I'm not sure if it taps it exactly but at least yeah. it's going to go close to it like looking at the weekly chart i mean just looking at where support might be for now is like like here's uh, some support. Oh uh, yeah. There's also some support here, which will actually line up. So basically, fifty nine thousand dollars. If you look at monthly too, actually uh, monthly is around like here fifty nine point. Yeah. And the month is about to close, so we got yeah, maybe like we have six, six days. days. Yeah, six days left on the month, and then also here the quarter. Go. The quarter is closing as well. So, so around like 59.5 or 59.4 would be like support for Bitcoin. Yeah. And that actually lines up with the strength band. And with Ethereum, let's see where it is. And uh, I had marked these out earlier, but I just want to do it again. So to show you guys how this works. So yeah, I see like, see Wix here, Wix uh, here, yeah. Wix here. It's where like the full and then that would be the Wix tap. Exactly, and that would 
Actually, if it bounces here, that would also make it a higher a low. Higher low. Be, still bullish, should, but in the very in the shorter time frames, we're chop, still looking so. for that chopping down. And then in the longer yeah. time frames, we're looking for market um, like clarity oh, from the yeah. candle closings. So we're gonna get like a, a quarterly close and a monthly close uh, in the next week. Exactly. So like, and if we, of course, if we lose the strength band, we can wake down below, but. If the, as long as the weekly candle closes above it, then it's still, uh, you know, bullish, at least on the medium time frame. Yeah. So um, we've been doing well to off risk, yeah. and I think that's still the we're still in the middle of that play. You know, like mm -hmm. like I jokingly said earlier, but now I want to make clear is not a joke. I'm updating stop losses for those positions that are in profit now, to basically, you know, close in profit no matter what happens from here. And, uh, yeah. and I think it's, again, you know, not a bad idea to kind of like trade the trend and find the trend on the charts like this. So Exactly. So, so yeah. So, like, but on the daily time frame, on the daily chart, things do look very oversold. Yeah. So, I wouldn't be surprised if we get sort of like a retest pump, you know, just looking at the daily, like, we do have a bear signal. So... Maybe we go up here, retest like the last like weekly resistance and then go back down. I wouldn't rule that out. Yeah. But I but especially with six days left in the monthly close. So yeah. we have like six, so expect six some days volatility. To, like, chop around before we kinda like close those long time frame candles and then get a nicer clarity on the longer time frame chart. Exactly. So crypto is, is not hit. So longer time frame, like I think we're still in bull market. Yeah, I think that's still not changed, but we're still like I don't think we're getting like just one parabola blow off top like we're yeah. usually used, used to. So like we might get like a second sort of curve, uh, you know, going down. Yeah, let me see if I can maybe find like a long, a uh, long time frame Adam and Eve sort of like still bullish, but. Exactly. So something like uh, something like this. Yeah, there you go. We get so that. these are the two like time frame uh, scenarios that like we've been tracking. So it depends. So if we still stay above our indicator strength band, and this is the the weekly chart, and this is Bitcoin. So like if it still stays above, holds above that, and then but we still are sort of like chopping and like going down. Um, going down a bit and the arc would be less steeper yeah. so i think like then we would just like chop or continue to range or like go down till the end of this year and then start forming a base and then we like go back up and then we get like a sort of like second parabola all the way till the end of next year now if we lose our indicators strength band and if we close below it, then I think the pullback is, or the downtrend is going to be more steeper. Yeah. Uh, the time frame wise, it's like similar, you know, whether it's less steep or more steep, like time frame wise, it's still like very similar. But if it's more steep, then we might actually, we might have room to like visit, like we might break 50K and like go to like the mid 40 thousand dollar section that would be if it's if we lose the strength band that would be devastating uh, yeah that'll be uh painful for a lot of people who who don't know how to read the chart or like yeah. who aren't positioned it would be very expected. bearish activity within a long-term bull market sale so it's like yeah so like that's this what would, makes it tricky <laughs> Yeah, because like if you look at it, like if we lose the weekly strength band, and if it, even if it goes down all the way here, and if you look at the monthly chart, and uh, for Bitcoin, right, and see our strength band on the monthly is right now at around forty thousand dollars. So we, we'll, so even if we're doing the, you know the steeper curve, we're yeah. still way above. We are holding above the strength band, yeah. which which means we're still in the bull market. Yeah, it would so, be a great buying opportunity when we start to see that price oh, yeah. action. So we'll have if to keep we do an eye. get it. Yeah, if if we get it exactly. So it's definitely looking a little like shaky, like choppy. The price is unclear, mm -hmm. um, but it definitely like. But I think next week we're gonna probably close in the red. 
is what yeah. are we going to go towards the strength band. And then we do need to see, a, I feel like, a bit of a retest. And especially once we get a monthly close, I feel like mm -hmm. monthly and quarterly close coming up six days from now are going to give us a nice uh, catalyst maybe to kind of uh, supercharge a, a, a kind of volatile retest maybe, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. uh, which gets people very excited for a bull run again and, you know, maybe a bull bull traps a, a bunch of people possibly. Yeah, probably a short squeeze kind of style yeah. retest. So we'll have to keep um, our, our eyes on this. This is a very, very dynamic market and these, these conditions change constantly. But as you can see from yeah. last week to this week, uh, we did kind of catch what was going on with those signals and now we're able to see them play out. And as long as we keep our focus and are able to monitor those signals playing out, then we'll be able to you know, know what the picture is as it's changing, mm -hmm. uh, which is our goal. Uh, the other thing we then were looking at- Then let's check you know, in with the- uh, with the stock market, GameStop or at least GME baby. that we were talking about last week. Yeah. And I know we had, we had uh, drawn out this trend line that we'd seen. Yep. And it seems to be losing it. Like uh, GameStop yeah. seems to be losing uh, the trend line. So, I mean, it's, I know. It's so very I'd, oversold, but it's also. <laughs> it's oversold, but that's not definitely not a good sign. And it's also below our indicator strength band. So yeah, and we have our bear print already. Although the the mm -hmm. band hasn't flipped to red yet, which normally in order it's to very act, close though, yeah. I think it'll flip to red if that happens to match. So basically, how our indicator works is that the you can see here. So like, and you can see it very clear on the weekly. So you can see how like we went into we got a bear print and then the band. Uh, color changed to match this. And once both of those things line up, then it's confirmed. And then you can see, like, you know, basically it's been going down, down, down. And then we got a bull signal before actually Roaring Kitty or Deep Fucking Value came <laughs> came back into the limelight or he, yeah. you know, before, before the, he the resurfaced. Beams. Uh, we actually got the bull signal before he did, and we did play a lot of this. We played the pump and dump, but but now that we've lost the trend line, the weekly still uh, says bull. But see, you can see the stock RSI yeah. is like sort of like double top. So I wouldn't be too. surprised if like if if also. Let's say we, I know there were like some long term wedge. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, huge. So the wedge. weekly huge wedge. Yeah, exactly. From the last stop and it broke out. And now it's, I know it's lost the daily trend line. And I wouldn't be surprised if the price goes back to our strength band. Yeah. I know that's still, that's a huge move down. That's still 38%. I mean, for stocks, that's. That's, That's a big huge. move, but even if you if it goes down and then bounces on the strength band, and this doesn't change to a bear signal, then it could just be like an SR flip, so to speak. Yeah, you know that will also line up with the, the the wedge. So if it comes down, bounces, and then starts the next leg drop, then that could be another time to sort of like write it again but right now the it's lost the trend line which isn't good and we yeah. are probably not gonna long this yeah right now i'm uh waiting on the sidelines waiting to yep. buy back into my gme position and and start to hold the line again but for now i i've uh, faltered we no, exited no i mean we exited close to the top like so we're fine yeah <laughs> we did yeah I definitely i pulled off principle one as soon as i doubled up on it on that short squeeze and then the yeah. rest of it was, you know, house money, if you want to think of it like that. But yep. uh, good, good trading there. Good to be aware of similarly, like last week where we were seeing a, a trend that's starting to like signal a change. That's what we're seeing here on GameStop too. Like the early stages of losing that, that trend line uh, mm -hmm. and that, you know, on the longer time frames is not necessarily going to mean, you know, bearish bear market return for GameStop, but absolutely more of a like, a, a retest of those previous like levels to then create that SR flip, which is you know flipping that long term resistance level from that three year wedge into some support yeah. here for us, and then uh, confirming this breakout of that downtrend. So yeah. 
we'll have to keep we'll our have eyes to see on how it goes, yeah. Because right now it looks like that's what's on on the menu. So until mm-hmm. next week, I think let's keep our eyes on Bitcoin and a little bit on these stock markets. And then next week we'll look at some uh, some of the other plays that we've been uh, eyeing as well. But the big ones to watch, I think, are the crypto markets to see are we going to continue the sell-off play that we've been uh, kind of spotting here? And then how is it going to react when the monthly and quarterly candles close in six days? So we'll be back and we'll be back uh, after those close to kind of uh, give our take on, on how the market looks then. Until then, have fun trading and have a good time. See you. Bye.